equivalent fractions. Two or more fractions are equivalent if they have the same numerical value. Let's underline that point there. The same value. Here's an example for you. Let's take the fraction four fifths. Look at that nice horizontal line there. Well, here we have four bars drawn out. This top one is not split at all. It's not being divided. It represents one whole. Now, each of the other bars are the same length. This second one's been split into one, two, three, four, five equal pieces, as have the others. Well, I want to shade four pieces. One, two, three, and four. Now, this is representing four fifths, because four out of the five pieces that are the same size have been shaded. Now, let's look at the second one, with this one below it, which is also split into five. But what if I split them even more just like that i now have 10 equal pieces well what if i shade eight of these one two three four five six seven eight this represents eight tenths well can you see that they are the same length they are the same part of the whole. So four fifths has the same value as eight tenths. Four fifths equals eight tenths. They are equivalent. In this third bar, it's currently split into five equal parts. But what if I split each of these parts into three smaller ones? all the same size. So that will give me 15 parts all the way along here. And what if I shade in 12 of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This bar represents 12 out of 15. But can you see, again, it's the same length as the other two. So 4 fifths also equals 12 fifteenths. So here I can write 4 fifths equals 8 tenths equals 12 fifteenths. They have the same value. Check it out on this number line. Let's say down here is zero, and then all the way over here is one whole. Well, each of these fractions are at the same position on the number line, right here. Let's change to the purple pen, right here on the number line. They have the same numerical value. Jump back to this page. This is really useful when we want to reduce a fraction. So we might have, for example, 48 over 60. Well, that's quite large numbers to work with, but we could reduce this using equivalent fractions. For example, 2 is a factor of 48 and a factor of 60. So it's equivalent to 24 over 30. Well, hang on, I can do that again. 2 also goes into 24 and it goes into 30. So this is going to give me 12 over 15. And I already know this one. 12 over 15 is equal to 4 fifths because 12 and 15 can both be divided by 3. That's equivalent fractions.